Trinitite is a radioactive green glassy substance that resulted from the Trinity test explosion. It can still be found near ground zero. Val Fitch, who served in the Special Engineer Detachment at Los Alamos and who would go on to win the 1980 Nobel Prize in Physics, remembers collecting some Trinitite after the Trinity test. Drove on a bit further to the point where there was uh, where the sand had been turned to glass and I pulled a little box out of the back that had contained a filament transformer and I reached down to that box and scooped up some of the glassy material and then I, we didn't know what the radiation level was but thought it was a good time to get out of there so that we did. <laughs> Jim Eccles explains how Trinitite is formed. I want to talk about the Trinitite, the glass, because when I first saw Trinity site back in 1977, the accepted explanation on why the, the crater floor was once covered with this green glass was that the fireball sitting there as it started to rise heated the sandy bottom enough to create glass. And that's what we told people for decades. And then I got contacted by Rob Hermes and Bill Strickfadden up in Los Alamos. And they came up with this idea that the, the tower is vaporized in the, in the fireball, and they looked at the ground zero pictures after the explosion and deduced that you know, there's a center section where it's not just a depression, it's actually gouged out. The sand is gone. And it probably got lifted up into the fireball as well, and it goes flashing to a liquid, maybe a gas comes back to a liquid. In other words, we get a mist up in the fireball of liquid rock. And it becomes raindrop physics after that. Stuff starts bumping together and they start falling out. And some of it, well, a lot of it, uh, the little spheres of raindrops of glass harden and remain intact on the ground. Thus, they are in an anthill, these little bitty droplets. Uh, some of it comes down still in a liquid puddles and starts to form bigger puddles and the heat still coming from above gives it a nice smooth surface on the top. And some places there is no uh, the glass. Uh, and this, this mechanism starts to explain pretty much everything that we see at Trinity site. The pieces of Trinitite are always on the surface now as it rains and the winds blow and stuff comes up. And so when we have an open house, Kids are always bringing us pieces of Trinitite. We've tried to hammer it in their heads. They can't take it home with them. And so they bring it to us and we throw it away afterwards, throw it back on the ground.